Welcome to the homework for lesson 15. It's module 8 of second grade. Don't forget to get your name on here first. And now we're deciding whether the uh, activity that's described, like eating breakfast or doing homework, uh, would happen in the a.m., which usually we think of as the morning, and the p.m., which comes after noontime and includes the evening up until midnight. So circle your answer. Eating breakfast, that's something in the morning, a.m. Doing homework, that's something you do after school, so definitely after lunchtime, p.m. You know, we think of doing homework at home, not sometimes you get to do it during school. Uh, but so usually p.m. Setting the table for dinner, that's usually in the evening, p.m. Uh, Waking up in the morning, morning is a.m. After school dance class, well, after school is, yeah, it's usually going to be the afternoon or evening, p.m. Eating lunch, now, it depends on what time your class has lunch, right? Because sometimes in school you have an earlier lunch and it's before noon. So your lunch might actually be a.m. But for most of us, we think of having lunch around noon or just a little bit after it so i'm going to say p.m but it may be that for you and your at your school you eat lunch in the morning before noon and then it would be a.m going to but you have to be ready to explain that uh going to bed that's something usually at night p.m unless it's after midnight and you stayed up really super late uh, then it would be a.m. Uh, heating up dinner. That's, you know, eating leftovers or something for dinner. So that dinner is usually evening. That's p.m. Write the time displayed on the clock. Then choose whether the activity below would happen in the a.m. or the p.m. So we're looking at the clock. We're writing down the time and we're circling either a.m. or p.m. So brushing your teeth before school. Well, you can see our hand is the shorthand. That tells us it's seven. And this is right, the minute hand is right up at the 12, so that's double zeros. So, and this is in the morning before school, so and morning is a.m. There you go. And now this is, you can see the hour hand is in between the 8 and the 9, so that means it's after 8. But it's not 9 yet, so it's still 8 and some minutes. Now how many minutes is it? 5, 10, 15, 20, 25 minutes. Now, after dinner is going to be in the evening, p.m. Draw the hands on the analog clock. Those are the round ones. Then circle a.m. or p.m. based on the description given. So here this looks, this is like sort of the digital time that you might see on a, on a phone or something like that. Uh, brushing your teeth before bedtime, 8.15. So we're going to draw our 8.15. 8.15 is after 8 o'clock, but it's still pretty close to 8 o'clock. I like to draw the minute hands first. You don't have to. Uh, right? Because that's 5, 10, 15 for minutes. And then the 8 is going to be between the 8 and the 9, but it's going to be a lot closer to the 8 because 15 minutes isn't that far after 8 o'clock. So I'm going to start right about here and come in. Keep that hour hand short so we can tell the difference between which one's the hour hand and which one's the minute hand when you draw it. Uh, recess after lunch, 12. Oh, I got a circle a.m. or p.m. Um, brushing your teeth before bedtime, so that's p.m. Recess after lunch, 12.30. So that's going to be after lunch, 12.30 is going to be p.m. So 12.30 is going to be halfway in between the 12 and the 1 for the hour and the 30 is 5 10 15 20 25 30 so start with the minutes there and in between the 12 and the 1 right in the middle between the two there 12 30 now that's not a beautiful clock hand uh, but they can't all be perfect so uh, but you can tell which one's the minute hand, which one's the hour hand, and where it's pointing. So that's that's really that's all you really have to have. 
uh, write what you might be doing if it were a.m. or p.m. So what time is this? Well, our hand says 6. And the minutes are straight up 0, 0. So that's 6 o'clock. 6 in the morning, what, what might you be doing? Well, a lot of teachers are, are awake at 6 o'clock and, and getting ready to work, or they're already there. Um, but for kids, usually... Uh, you're sleeping at 6 o'clock in the morning. Some kids like to, I have a son who likes to get up really early. He's usually up by 6 o'clock in the morning, but you can say sleeping. And if it's 6, uh, 6 o'clock p.m., you might be eating dinner. So let's see. And if you're not sure how to spell these words, just make your best guess. And you can look at some of this stuff like here. There's dinner and there's brushing your teeth. And here's a whole list of things on for question one, doing homework, waking up in the morning, eating lunch, heating up dinner, going to bed, all that stuff. You can just copy that if you really want to. That's right there for you to use that first page. All right. Now this is our hand is in between the four and the five. So that means it's four something, and the minutes are 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, so it's 4.30. At 4.30 in the morning, unless you're going fishing and you really want to get up there before the sun comes out, um, usually you're going to be sleeping at 4.30 in the morning. And for p.m., 4.30 in the afternoon... Now that's before dinner, but it's for most of us, it's usually we're out of school. So what are you doing in between school and dinner time? Uh, you could be, well, let's see, we're not going to bed. You could be doing homework. You know, we could use that one right there. Maybe you do it before dinner. Maybe you do it after. Maybe you're uh, playing baseball at 430 in the afternoon. Maybe you got to practice or something. Okay, so I'm going to write that. I'll write that instead. Or maybe you're playing video games. You can write that too. Or doing homework. Studying. Reading. That's a good one. 